Hey guys! We're here today to check out a Patronal request from this Patronal right here. As us to check out a band called Hum Humfuro, and the name of the song is Vrain, live from Havnar Kirkia. That's what I'm going with. I don't know. That's what I'm going with. Anyways, I didn't, I've never heard of the band. My apologies. Uh, so I went on Google because I couldn't find them on uh, Metal Encyclopedia. Maybe because of, of all the dots and all and of that. you can't thing. actually put that. I can't type that stuff. So anyways, I went on Google and they are a doom metal band from the Faroe Islands. So there you go, guys. I don't even know where that is. Well, I know it's an island. Yeah, and I've and, heard it before. And I know it's in, in, in the northern part of... of the Atlantic Sea, like whatever, at, at the top part. I don't even know if it's in the Atlantic or not. Like, it, I, I don't know. It's somewhere. I don't know. I'm really spitballing they here. They exist. <laughs> they exist. They're somewhere on this planet. Exactly. All right? That's that's all I know. Uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do it. The church bell tolls. Half the island is in the band.
impressive. Uh, do you want to go first or you want me to go first? Uh, I, I just want to say a couple things. You can go first, but... Okay, so if you want to say a couple no, things... No, but not about the song. Oh, I, okay. Go ahead. You start. I just want to say that if this is in the... was Faroe Islands? I'm assuming this is like a church there or something. I mean, there was a church bell ringing, I'm there, assuming. So, two, two things could have happened. The video... Everyone in the video don't... It's very weird because this could be from the quarantine times because it says live yeah i know but it looked like there were there's people in the in the pews there does it look i can't really see yeah that. there's like some like like they have hoodies on or something it looks like there's people there at least that's the impression that i got sometimes you could see some shades of people it's just that it's dark and you can't see yeah. them but it looks like there's people i was there. gonna say it's like either quarantine or the video itself doesn't look that they all look pretty dated each of the guys, they look like... Oh, that's that's how they're... That's the look of the whole thing. I, I know. They're going with this funeral doom thing all the way through. Not just the music, but Listen, also Elton the... Elton John playing the, the, the keyboard back there. Uh, okay, I was going to mention that. You were going to mention it? I was going to mention Fuck, that. Fuck, he looks like Elton John. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. There's a little bit of... Uh, there, there's a little bit of... Uh, the Johnny Boy. Uh, the Johnny Boy there. Yeah, I must say. Um... Yeah, man. There's uh, a little bit of the Nikita. Now, when it started... When it started, the two guys... On this side, well, for me, it's also this. I guess. Well, for uh, you mean the guitar player and the bass player. The guitar player. The sire were the, bass. the yeah, guitar yeah. player and bass player. When it started, it had there was the above them, right? And I swear to God, they look like they they're like uh, optical illusions because from up there they look like old like like seventy year olds, and I'm like, holy shit, this. This is probably everyone on the island and, and those two guys. I, when the video started, I said this is like half of the population. I'm sure there's not a lot of people in the Faroe Islands, so this yeah, is like yeah. probably half the population. And I'm like, holy shit, we got some we got some old timers on the bass and guitar over here. Not really, though. No, they weren't old timers. No, that's what I'm saying. But th that's what I'm oh, saying. The, the perception you had. Optical illusion. I, I thought they were, were old timers, but no, they, they, they weren't. And that, that starting guitar riff, I'm like, I, I was waltzing into the to the church myself putting my hoodie on and getting ready to enjoy this this type of music it, it really soothes me it's it's really weird it's very dark but it's very depressing it's very depressing so it just makes you sink and in a way sinking into a chair so it, it just well very... sinking into the music is comforting at the same time yeah i agree i agree uh i was gonna say something i i, I like the whole idea behind the video the church, the setup, the way they were dressed. They look like they were dressed for a funeral. Yeah. So I, I, I like the idea, but this is this is my... Uh, I'm putting my... Um, my uh, director's, cap director's on. hat on, and I'm bringing the artistic side of me into the forefront, and I'm going to say, if you're going to go down this path, you're going to have to go all the way. You need a casket. And you I, need, I was going to say that. And you need to put the keyboard player in said casket. And you can elevate the... So it's an open casket. And you elevate the casket a little bit, so it's, it's normally the casket is like is like flat, right? And it's like if you're sitting in the pew. I see this for the drummer instead. How the fuck are you gonna put the drummer in a How casket? How the fuck are you gonna fit the the keyboard player in the casket? The keyboard is outside the casket, or he can have a tiny little one on his lap, and he's standing there like he's dead, and he's I just playing the keyboard. The, the casket, I, I think. Is it there? Or maybe because you see the table in the back. You see in the back there. They no, that's where the singer should be. No, the singer should have a, his own podium. Like oh, how, yeah, how like when you do have their podium. And not priests, but when you go to a funeral and they're doing the uh, the eulogy. Yeah, and people go up to the podium to, to to say like, oh, what the person meant to them and whatever. Like the, the, I agree with that. That's uh, this pa Panzerfaust, they do that too. They have a podium. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. whole deal, right? Okay, so maybe put the keyboard player on that on that thing, the table in the back there. And put the lead singer on the podium. On the podium. You still need a casket. You brought, yeah. You still need a casket, but I, you can have a ghost casket. Like the, I just don't like the fact that the drummer's in the corner. You never put, you never put the drummer in the corner. What, what is this? Dirty dancing? You never put baby in the corner. You never put baby in the corner. <laughs> I don't know. It, I, 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 I still think you need a casket somehow. Okay, but you can have a casket, but you'll win. You win on the casket part, okay, dude. But I don't know. My, it, it's we like, could put the bass player on the casket. I mean, he's not moving much. Dude, he was like. He can put the. He can have. He, he can have the base in the casket and just so like. Half of the time, half of the time, he was like fixing his beard, checking his nails, and then he would go boom, 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 and then he would stop. <laughs> he'd go back. That's what I'm saying. He'd roll so his could, shoulders. A so you can put him in the casket with the base next to him, and he can just play from the casket. How cool would that be? I, I don't know. I, I just think if you're gonna go, I like the setup. Don't get me wrong. I really like the setup. But if you're gonna go with this, you gotta go all the way. 
put 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 the people in strategic places where they would have been if this was an actual funeral. Yeah. Do you but, know what I mean? Now we see this, but we see this ending screen here. It has the whole band kind of lined up, right? And I don't know why this pet pe this pet peeve of mine. You never put the bass. Look, I mean, you never put the drum in the corner. Look at them all. Everyone has. Everyone's in the front row, and the drummer's like. I don't know if you could put the picture on the screen, so. Uh, people saw the video. Oh, anyways. people, whatever. You see, everyone's here. You can perfectly see every single person. And then the drummer is there in the background. You really, in the you, 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 you're really like nitpicking this thing. I am drum. because even when we go see bands live, the drummer's always in the middle. Because they always. I don't have... know, but for the, the drummer to be in the middle, you have to get rid of that table at the back there. Put him in the back, dude. You make room. You make adjustments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I I have no issues with the drummer being on the side. I always have if you issues re with no, that. the drummer could be on the side if you rearrange where the other guys are. If the keyboard player goes to the table in the back, then the drummer can move a little bit more into the forefront. Then he's not so much in the back okay. anymore. Then if you have and if you put the lead singer in the podium, you can put the guitar player, the other guitar player, where the lead singer yeah, is. But it also it's also really weird. Like where the keyboard player is, he's ba he's right next to the guitar player and the lead singer. You don't want a drum there. Why not? Because the singer's not going to be there. The singer's going to be when in the When was the last time you've gone to like a concert where the drummer was Doesn't right matter. next to everyone? You forget it. Okay. This is about the setting here that you have here. If I you're going to go, look listen, so weird, if you're going to go, doesn't matter. If you're going to go with, with the whole church vibe as you would if this was a real funeral and, and whatever, the podium is not going to be in the front. Where the lead singer is is where the casket is going to be. So the podium is going to be behind the guitar player and the bass player. Okay. But you are but elevated. The, the keyboard, okay, but in an actual funeral, the keyboard player is never, the keyboard player is always on the side. The keyboard player is technically where the drummer is. So put him there. Yeah, but if you put the drummer in front of the keyboard player, then no one's going to see the keyboard player. Okay, but the, he's drowned like by I the said, drum kid. Okay, but the drummer himself has been drowned by everything. The, so my the idea, drummer should always... So why don't you take a minute now and listen to my idea, which what, what I just said here. You put okay. the keyboard player where the table is. Okay. You move the drummer to where the keyboard player is. You put the guitar player where the singer is, and the singer goes behind the bass player and the guitar player in a podium, which stands them up above everybody. Yeah. Boom, done. Fuck, I can't believe we're arguing this. Because... You have, the, you have the, no, the, no the, sense of the aesthetics. The drum should never be in the in the crossfire of, of everybody. The drum should never be there. Never. And I mean, ever be there. Uh, whatever. I, I'm not with you. I'm not liking one. the corner spot because the drummer is actually, compared to the bass player, the drummer's doing a lot of, like, the drummer's doing way more work than the bass player here. Uh, Doom songs have this, this heaviness here, so you need him... You need him somewhere that he's visible. Like, I was liking the shots from behind. Yeah, yeah. And you can see, out of every, everyone's wearing the tuxedo with the blazer, but he had to if, take if the blazer off. If they had set it up the way I'm talking about, it would have been fine. It would have been fine. I, I don't see... Why you have an issue with what I'm saying? The drummer takes the spot that the keyboard player and the guitar player have. It's on the side, sure, but it's in the forefront. It's like socks and Crocs, man. It just doesn't go together. Nah, you, can't you cannot put... put the drummer on this setting with the church, with, with the things the way but they you are. Can't put... You can't put the fucking drummer in the put... middle. But you can't put the drummer next to everybody. That's what I'm saying, is putting the drummer next to everybody, like the guitar player and the lead no, singer. No, I'm not saying put him next to everybody. Keep him where he you, is. You just said, you said switch him with the, the... Take the guys in front of you. Take them out of there. Oh, okay, what? Take them out of there. You so where is the... everybody? <laughs> I told you the keyboard player goes under the table, the singer into a. But podium. you said the drummer takes the keyboard spot, but the keyboard player is next to everybody, which is already kind of okay, can... like okay, taboo. Well, uh, but it's like... not taboo. This you have to understand the settings here. Where the hell are you going to put all of these people? They're more than their mothers. What the fuck are you going to do with all these people? Their mothers already left the island. Fuck. They're what's left on the island. Jesus Christ! I can't believe we're having this discussion about aesthetics here. Anyways, what did you think about who's the right song? Who's wrong? Put in the you're comments. You're wrong. Well. You, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Even when I'm about. wrong, I'm still right. If you want to have the drummer in the middle, then remove that table from the back. Put a riser a little and bit put there. The and put the there. drummer there. And, and, and in front of the drummer, create like a, a, a scene that, like, that looks like there's a fucking table there with a coffin or some shit. Or make the table that he's on look like a casket. Oh, okay. So, okay. That I can live with. That I can live with. But I don't think they have those resources. The Faroe Islands. They had enough it's resources fucking, to use a church. It's not the man shaft over here. It's not Germany here. They don't have the same resources. Dude, they had, they had enough resources to do the church and everything. The church was already done. They just rented it out and went there. And played. Like, I mean, it's not like they built a church from the scratch. Dude, you know the church was not getting much money when they were like, a doom metal band's coming to play here? Ah, fuck, sure, yeah. Fine. Yeah, How much are they paying no, us? No, this obviously wasn't during COVID because they were not busy with funerals. So, fuck it. Like, they probably had time. Anyways, what did you think about the song before we run out of battery and time? Um... 
No, the song was good, man. I mean, like I, I, I think I think I said this. Type the vocals of, were amazing. The vocals. Now I, I was liking his his. Uh, these guys, these guys are they're kind of like uh, Arab Baltor, uh, in a sense. Where remember we did that first song, uh, we couldn't decipher whether they were speaking English or Swedish. Well, in Arab Baltor, some songs they do English, some songs they do Swedish. Yeah, but yeah. They, it was such a it was such. The, the, it's such a tone that you it can't... It was such a tone that you can't understand it, right? But it doesn't matter. But it's it doesn't all about matter, the vibe. But it's all about the vibe. And that's what I got from this. Yeah. It was all about the vibe. I was trying to... Listen, I took two seconds to try to decipher. I couldn't do it, so I, I just I gave up it. right away. I left it. I gave uh, up before I pressed play. When dude, I, saw I let it be. I let it be. Yeah, just like the Beatles. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, th that's that's what first came to my mind. And then he started with the clean vocals. I'm like... Oh, the clean vocals. Beautiful. Amazing. But... Around the end there, when he went back to the harsh vocals, the harsher of the harsh ones, the harsher oh, of the, the harsh. That, around that the end, I actually got more into it because I feel like by then, the song slowly and slowly was putting me in a trance, and it was hard for me to kind of move because I was like, I was stuck in my, I was stuck in the place. Like someone put you're a like spell. a you're like a deer in headlights. Exactly, I was stuck in place, and then they then those vocals came on and they kind of re, it, it revived me because watching him. Put so much effort into those vocals and feel what he was singing. And feel about. what he was. Even singing though I didn't about. know what he was exactly. singing. Exactly, and the veins and everything. I don't know. It just got me hyped. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I like. I really dig that as well. The, his vocal performance was phenomenal. Carries the song. The no, that and the guitar. And oh, the guitar is that. The guitar has that melancholic, but has atmospheric that back backdrop. But but he, he's the only thing that's giving life to the song with the changes in his vocal delivery going from cleans to harsh to the really harsh he's the one kind of putting some energy into the song because musically the song barely moves it feels like it's like you said it, it's not moving forward or backwards you're just going in a downward spiral you're going deeper and deeper you know what i mean so that's how it moves i i i really dig the vocals i honestly i really dig the vocals and and the intensity that he had like like i mean like i said i didn't know what he was saying but like fuck he meant it yeah. He means business. He means business. All right. So this is a, I mean, this is a cool way of discovering this band with this kind of live performance. Yeah. For sure. For sure. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for asking us to check out this video on Patreon. And we'll see you guys tomorrow at the next video. But before we do that, make sure you drop us a comment and let us know that this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Whatever. Hit us up in the comment section. We'll see you at the next video. See ya.